Well, hey everybody, and good Saturday evening to you. meteorologist Travis Klineski here. The kind of a surprise showing up of uh, me, I guess. Uh, yeah, I am filling in tonight, helping out uh, the Weather Network just a bit here. As we're a little short right now with Brad Brandon still being gone uh, in Ireland and Bill still on uh, paternity leave, so I uh, need an extra body. So I am helping out tonight, and a little bit of an active night out there tonight as well. We've got some isolated severe weather in the southwest corner of the state and the northwest corner of the state. We're going to take a look at what we have uh, severe weather watches wise here and again it's about a uh, 5.15 or 5.14 in the afternoon here so just before our six o'clock show so I'm just kind of getting done with my forecast. Um, there's a severe thunderstorm watch in the northwest part of the state does not include anybody in the KSMB viewing area. This goes to 11 o'clock tonight 10 p.m. mountain daylight time. At this point um, the only other areas kind of worth watching that southwest corner of the state it looks like only a small chance that they would even put out a thunderstorm watch for that it's a very isolated severe weather activity out there right now there's a thunderstorm warning that goes on here for a little bit yet for uh, Hitchcock County but by the time I get this distrib distributed out on the internet Facebook Twitter all that stuff uh, that warning will be long gone there was a, a tornado warning a funnel cloud earlier uh, about 20 minutes ago or so up around the Shadron area but uh, right now not a whole lot of activity in central or eastern Nebraska there's some very isolated showers uh, just northwest of the Tri-Cities at this point here but I think our better chances will hold off until later tonight. Well, let's take a look at things here on Futurecast here and again the brunt of the activity will be to the northwest again I'm not going to rule out an isolated shower or storm for central eastern Nebraska northern Kansas I just do think the better chances will be with that disturbance to the northwest chances do increase a little bit after midnight tonight I think our chances actually pick up a little more early tomorrow morning in fact tomorrow morning a decent chance that many of us wake up to a few showers and thunderstorms out there. Chances do lessen in the afternoon, although maybe a couple of hit or miss isolated showers and storms try to fire up in far southern Nebraska, eastern Nebraska, and northern Kansas. Not much of a severe weather threat tomorrow. The severe weather threat's more for tonight. And then as we get into uh, tomorrow evening, things will clear up. And this is going to take us into a pretty long stretch of very quiet weather ahead of us here. Dew points will also be dropping off Sunday night. It's going to be cooler tomorrow, but still a little sticky. Uh, not as sticky as today, uh, but Monday then a much uh, a very comfortable day, and also we're looking at lower dew points out there for your Monday. So really a nice day to start off the final week of the month of August here. Well, let's take a look at what we have for our severe weather threat out there. Again, kind of where that watch already is, there is a slight risk of severe weather in the northwest part of the area. Uh, many of us still do have a marginal threat of severe storms, especially later tonight. Again, I can't rule something out this evening, but I think the better chance of severe weather come, or any storms comes after midnight. And again, a small chance of severe weather. I don't think it's really that likely that we see a lot of severe weather out there. And uh, as for weather tonight, temperature-wise, we'll fall back into the 60s for overnight lows. Tomorrow, temperatures back up into the upper 70s and lower 80s for most of us. A lot of it will depend on clouds, showers, and thunderstorms. Who's seeing it? Who isn't out there? But kind of a blend of upper 70s and lower 80s. And then a much cooler, a couple of cooler nights ahead of us. In fact, many of us dropping back into the 50s for overnight lows as we get into Monday morning. And then a really pleasant day again on Monday. Temperatures back into the upper 70s and lower 80s for the vast majority of the area. Next seven days, Again, very quiet weather for much of next week, although we do see a gradual warming trend towards the mid-80s, towards the middle and end of next week. And maybe a few extra clouds, a little breezier Friday, a very small chance of a Friday evening storm. Doesn't look very good, but there is a small chance out there. And right now, uh, Saturday, of course, the first Saturday of September, and it is Husker football Saturday. Now, it is an evening game. That's good because it'll be a little cooler, but there is uh, it's going to be fairly warm out there for Saturday the way it looks right now. We'll be flirting with 90 degrees. Um, so a uh, lot to look forward to Saturday. Of course, it's Labor Day weekend. The State Fair continues all week long. The good news is the weather looks rather quiet most of the State Fair outside of maybe tomorrow morning. I know they do have some morning church services and things like that out there. Um, outside of that, though, I think much of the State Fair does come off fairly quiet, which is, again, that gradual warm-up as we go towards the very end of the month and into early parts of September. Hard to believe, but that's the start of meteorological fall on September 1st, which, of course, is on Friday. Again, this is a little special edition of my forecast here. Hope you, hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all are enjoying the weather and the weather to come over the next couple of days. Until next time, I will be back with you on Monday morning. I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski, and I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend, and God bless.